Aloha and welcome to our video on the cell membrane. The goals of this one is to describe the bilayer structure of the cell membranes. We'll identify the function of other molecules found in a cell membrane. And then finally, we'll describe a cell's interior environment briefly. Okay, if you can recall back on our discussion on lipids, we were talking about the phospholipids and how they formed a lipid bilayer for a cell membrane. Remember, the cell membrane is what separates the inside from the outside of the cell, and it's made up of this lipid bilayer. Okay, the lipid bilayer, each of these phospholipids has a hydrophilic head, which means that it likes water on this part here, and then it has these two fatty acid tails, which are hydrophobic, which means that they repel water. Water doesn't like to cross that. So because of that, all of these little tails here make a boundary that'll keep water either inside or outside of the cell. So water can't transport through that one. However, there's other molecules there. These other molecules, you can see them here, are the protein channels. And those there will allow molecules to go through. So whether it's a carbohydrate chain that we can see coming through this way, or if it's water even traveling through in and out of the cell that way, that's what allows it to do. So the structure of the cell membrane, because of this double layer, it allows it to attach to the water so it's not forced through or things of that nature. That's what this hydrophilic side does. And then this hydrophobic provides this barrier so water can't flow in and out freely. Now, we can see here we have our cell membrane again. We have the outside of the cell here, the inside of the cell here. Our phosphates all line up here. Our lipids here form this barrier that doesn't allow things to travel through in water. And then what we notice is we have these transport proteins. And you can see that we have a higher concentration of the solutes outside and a low one inside. So what's going to happen through the process of diffusion is this particle here is going to kind of get back into the cell and it'll do so through this transport protein. So these are kind of like windows or doors to the cell membrane and that's what allows them to work so that things can get in and out. Okay, just a few final words here for you in this one. Um, we want to talk about the extracellular matrix and that's in animal cells. So if we draw a couple animal cells, this extracellular matrix, this is the outside goo on the outside of a cell that allows them to kind of stick together. And because of that, that's how we can build up these bigger organisms and things like that. That's what allows the cells to stick together. Now, inside the cell, okay, we'll add our nucleus here, and then we have our mitochondria, and we'll talk about them a little bit later. We have our endoplasmic reticulum and all that kinds of good stuff that we'll be talking about, but we have all the organelles. The organelles and the goo is what we call the cytoplasm. So when we're talking about cytoplasm, we're talking about everything inside of the cell membrane. The actual goo that everything is in is called the cytosol. Okay, so make sure that we kind of understand those two differences in words. And that's all we have here for the cell membrane video. Um, remember, the lessons will go through it in a lot more detail. Good luck on the lessons, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.